Rockstar's 13-year-old cowboy simulator, Red Dead Redemption, has had a surprise release on Nintendo Switch. Tech Day's Darren Price has been cowboying on the go with the Switch version of the legendary game. Red Dead Redemption takes place in the western frontier during 1911, where you play as John Marston, who is an ex-outlaw looking to make amends. He now works for the U.S. government and is on a hint to catch his former gang members and bring them to justice. However, like many things in the Wild West, Marston's plan doesn't exactly go as planned. Much like the GTA series, Red Dead Redemption will require you to complete missions for different central characters. However, you will traverse the vast open world on a horse instead of a fast car. But as you explore the world, you will experience the realities of the Wild West and how things were done in the early 1900s. The fact that you can play one of the most immersive words, crafted in gaming on a handheld device is still quite astounding. Red Dead Redemption is a beloved franchise for a reason, and the fact that one can now experience its critically acclaimed story on the go makes the game worth getting on the Nintendo Switch for both new players and returning fans. For better or worse, the Nintendo Switch version of the Batman Arkham Trilogy includes many changes from the game's original versions. The Batman Arkham series actually consists of four primary games released between 2009 and 2015, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins, and Arkham Knight. The Switch collection includes three games and leaves out the Origins prequel. Naturally, these three games had to undergo a lot of reconfiguration for their Switch port, the original releases span two console generations, and specification-wise, the Switch lands right in the middle of the two. It's more powerful than the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, but less powerful than the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So, while some of the changes exist solely to make these games playable on the Switch, others improve on aspects of the original game. Batman Arkham Trilogy has some minor flaws, but is a must-have game on Nintendo Switch. Few games stand the test of time, but Metroid Prime is one of the select few titles from a bygone era that still feels as good to play today as it did on the GameCube back in 2002. More than two decades later, it's even better as this first-person shooter got a massive facelift for Nintendo's hybrid console. Looking better than ever, Samus Aran's shift to the third dimension is a great example of evergreen gameplay design that influenced an entire generation of action games in its wake. It's still Metroid right down to its first-person bones, but the slick action and well-paced exploration can be enjoyed without needing to don some nostalgia goggles. Six years after the release of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Nintendo has captured lightning in a bottle again with its sequel Tears of the Kingdom. Building on the foundation of the groundbreaking Switch launch game, Tears of the Kingdom hits all the right notes for a sequel. It's bigger, bolder, and even more ambitious than the first game, and at the same time it makes great strides towards addressing some of the more lingering issues from Breath of the Wild. The Legend of Zelda at its very best, Tears of the Kingdom links to the past by borrowing the best elements from older games in the franchise and delivers a rewarding experience that's endlessly captivating. The end result isn't just Game of the Year material, but a masterpiece of intelligent engineering and fun gameplay that will become a new gold standard for future Zelda games. <laughs> An expanded port of the excellent Wii U game, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, is the best racing game on Nintendo Switch. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe currently contains more than 40 racers and 48 tracks including many of the best courses from Mario Kart history. Deluxe adds several notable features, including driving assistance settings for new players and two item slots. 
It also has an extended battle mode, which winds up making Mario Kart 8 Deluxe the most content-rich and well-rounded entry in series history. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe released during the Switch's launch window, but it remains one of the most popular multiplayer games on the console for good reason, it should be in every Nintendo Switch owner's library. More than three years after its release, Animal Crossing New Horizons remains one of the most popular and wholesome games on Nintendo Switch. Just as lockdowns began happening across the world, Animal Crossing New Horizons invited players to a tranquil island for a relaxing loop of activities like fishing, bug catching, and perfecting the layout of their virtual homes. Nintendo has steadily introduced new features to New Horizons, including plenty of free content as well as the massive Happy Home Paradise DLC. New Horizons also has robust customization features, including a new terraforming feature that gives you complete control over the terrain of your island. Whether you're conversing with your fellow residents, trying to finish your museum catalog, or visiting your friends' islands, Animal Crossing New Horizons is a constant charmer. Hogwarts Legacy has been successfully squeezed into a port for the Nintendo Switch. The elephant in the room, however, is the question of how the title runs on the Nintendo Switch compared to its performance on next-gen consoles and PC. Given the graphic intensity of Hogwarts Legacy, particularly with numerous particle effects, the Switch port had to undergo visual downgrades to maintain a stable 30 frames per second. Ultimately, Hogwarts Legacy manages to function on the Nintendo Switch, surpassing initial expectations with a gameplay experience that, despite a few drawbacks, is better than anticipated. One notable advantage is the portability of the Nintendo Switch, allowing players to delve into the magical world of Hogwarts anytime, anywhere. While the compromises in graphics and performance are evident and create a lesser version of the game, the convenience of the Switch's on-the-go play might make it a worthwhile investment for fans eager to experience the Wizarding Realm on their handheld console. Super Mario Odyssey is a relentlessly joyful 3D platformer that gives players far more freedom than they've had in previous 3D Mario games. Super Mario Odyssey has a series of large, open levels, each of which is chock full of power moons to find by completing tricky platforming sequences, besting foes, and solving puzzles. It also introduces a new array of moves thanks to Mario's sentient hat Cappy. If you're playing Super Mario Odyssey with young children, the cooperative mode is excellent as it allows one player to take control of Cappy, who can't take damage. Super Mario Odyssey is Mario's biggest adventure yet, with more to see and do than ever before in a 3D Mario game. With more than 80 fighters so far, more than 100 stages, and a wide variety of content whether you're playing multiplayer or refining your skills against the CPU, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the most comprehensive and plentiful brawler in franchise history. The expansive roster of characters, with totally different playstyles is impressive enough to keep you playing for the long haul, but Smash Bros. Ultimate is far more than just a collection of Nintendo characters and anime characters, with swords hitting each other repeatedly. It's a deeply satisfying brawler that refines the overall gameplay to make the most technically sound Smash Bros. After a nearly two-decade wait, Metroid returned to its side-scrolling roots for an adventure that closed out the current Metroid saga. 
Remarkably, Metroid Dread lives up to the high expectations set by longtime fans. Developed by Mercury Steam, Metroid Dread is a wonderful adventure that sticks to its roots. Dread shines mechanically, with fast-paced combat, a wide range of upgrades to acquire, and a stable of bosses that test your fortitude and counterattack skills. It's an absolute joy to explore the maze-like locales, and Dread's huge swath of secrets to uncover encourages multiple playthroughs. Metroid Dread is easily one of the best side-scrollers on Switch, and it's a reminder that going back to your roots can be a truly excellent idea.